When programming with Android, it's very important to know how to pass parameters from one screen to other. And when we are talking about strings or any other primitive type parameter, it looks very easy. But what to do when we have to pass the image from one activity to the other? So, in this example, we are going to see how we can pass information about one image view to another screen. In this case, we want to have the follow effect. We have one main screen in the, in the app, but we have one generic screen here that will be the conversation screen, which has to receive the parameter what image is going to be displayed in this place. Then, in this case, we will, will have this effect. We can click here and then receive the image of the clicked contact. If we click here, we have the image of the another contact, and it's all dynamically. I'll pass it as parameter. So let's understand how to do that. Our goal here is to do that only with internal images, without having to request images for any other external search. So any image we are using in the view components, in the, the image view components, are all here in the um, drawable folder, the resources drawable folder, how the images are here. So I can access them based in the drawable object, which has one constant for its image in the left side. And actually, it is represented just as one integer that will be the ID of the message. So we can see here a preview of the image when our cursor is over that. And they are just integers. So when one user is clicked in the first screen, we can inform the name of the user and the ID of its image. So it actually keeps being one simple int value. So when we go to the another screen, the conversation screen, we have here, we recover here the name of the user and we recover here the image search ID of this user. So we can present in the screen the name of the user and we can, based in the ID of the drawable element, create one bitmap that is going to be displayed in the new image view object in this new screen and set that to the another image view. And then we have the described effect. We have the main screen with images and depending on the clicked image, we have it being displayed in the second screen. Here it is how to pass information about one image view from one screen to another one.